Hi students, this is an interactive lesson on the parts of the flower. You will also see how flowers are pollinated. This lesson was written by Debbie Pingle at Dr. Long Elementary. Flowers There are many parts to a flower. We have sepals, petals, stamens, pollen, pistil, ovary, and the ovulas, which you will see on a diagram on the next slide. Flowers make pollen, attract pollinators, produce fruit, and make seeds. Despite differences in appearance, most flowers have a similar structure. What's in a flower? Here's our diagram of the flower. Here we have the petals, the landing platform. The sepal is the bud cover. The pistil is the seed maker. The stamen, the pollen maker. The ovary is the baby seed chamber, and then we have the ovulus, the actual baby seed. Pollination is the main purpose of the flower. The shape, color, and fragrance of a flower provide clues as to the size and shape of its pollinator. Tube-shaped flowers, such as honeysuckle, are typically pollinated by animals with a long beak, proboscis, or tongue. Here's a picture of a bird pollinating of some flowers. Pollination. Fragrant, showy flowers attract pollinators, like this flower seen here, which is very flashy and showy, and we can't smell it, but it is very fragrant. Flowers that use wind to disperse pollen tend to be small and lack fragrance like this flower seen here. Flowers come in many colors, shapes, and sizes. Here are some examples of different flowers. Some flowers attract bats. The flowers that are visited by bats are typically open at night, large in size, pale or white in color, very fragrant, fermenting or fruit-like odor, and a good supply of dilute nectar. Here are some, are, are some examples of the flowers visited by bats. We have the banana plant, the prickly pear, and the capoc tree flower. Bees are the champion pollinators. The flowers that are visited by bees are typically full of nectar, brightly colored with petals that are usually blue or, or yellow, or a mixture of these bees cannot see red, sweetly aromatic or have a minty fragrance, open in daytime, provide landing platforms, often bilaterally symmetrical, which means one side of the flower is a mere image of the other. Flowers are often tubular with nectar at the base of the tube. These are some flowers that are pollinated by bees. Flowers pollinated by birds. The flowers that are visited by birds and hummingbirds are typically tubular and have petals that are curved to be out of the way, have tubes, funnels, cups, strong supports for perching, brightly colored like red, yellow, or orange, odorless because birds are, have a poor sense of smell, open during the day, prolific nectar producers with deeply hidden nectar, modest pollen producers that are designed to dust the bird's head back with pollen as the bird forages for nectar. These are some examples of flowers that are pollinated by birds. Flowers pollinated by butterflies. The flowers that are visited by butterflies are typically in clusters and provide landing platforms, brightly colored like red, yellow, and orange, open during the day, ample nectar producers with nectar deeply hidden, may be clusters of small flowers. These are some examples of flowers pollinated by butterflies. Now let's take a little quiz. Number one, what do flowers make? 
Number two, what clues can flowers give? Number three, what type of birds pollinate tube-shaped flowers? Number four, the flowers that are visited by bees are typically full of? Number five, what type of flowers attract pollinators? Number six, who visits flowers that are in clusters and provide landing platforms? And number seven, who visits flowers that are pale or white in color? Let's see the next slide for the answers. Number one, what do flowers make? Flowers make pollen, attract pollinators, produce fruit, and make seeds. What clues can flowers give? The shape, color, and fragrance of a flower provide clues as to the size and shape of its pollinator. What type of birds pollinate tube-shaped flowers? Tube-shaped flowers, such as honeysuckle, are typically pollinated by animals with a long beak, proboscis, or tongue. Number four. The flowers that are visited by bees are typically full of nectar. Number five. What type of flowers attract pollinators? Fragrant, showy flowers attract pollinators. Number six. Who visits flowers that are in clusters and provide landing platforms? Butterflies. Number seven. Who visits flowers that are pale or white in color? That would be bats. We've come to the end of our presentation. Thank you for visiting this slideshow. I hope you've learned a lot about flowers and how they are pollinated.